Hi, this is Amy Lewis. Amy, more makeup. This is Engineers Unplugged. Hi, this is Amy Lewis, and we're back for an incredible episode of Engineers Unplugged. I'm here with Pamashree and Satinder, and they're going to be talking about UCS Grand Slam. Let's find out what it's all about. All right. So, Satinder, we talk about IOE. Everybody knows now by now what IOE is. IOE is going to lead to a different operating model in IT. That's right. right. So we're now calling that uh, fast IT. And fast IT has many components: ACI, intercloud. And of course, the data center as the foundation, right? Um, so we started on this data center journey, yeah. you and I actually, years ago with UCS. And now we are taking UCS to the next level. That's right. And we are saying there is information, uh, there in innovation at cloud scale, at edge, and core, right? That's correct. So yep. what is UCS Grand Slam within each of this then? Well, so, you know, after being deployed at 36,000 customers in the core, <clears throat> we have started to see, Padma, that there are customers who are basically need support on the edge scale computing and also on the cloud scale computing because a lot of these large IT customers have locations that are outside the data center. These could be retail chain stores, for example, or to your point about Internet of Everything is generating so much data in the field that it needs to get collected in the field and processed in the field. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to address that part of the market segment. Okay. So we are announcing a new platform, UCS Mini, mm -hmm that basically takes all of the capabilities of core UCS platform, architectural benefits, unified fabric, unified management, stateless computing, but it optimizes it to the form factor that's more suitable for the edge. Right. Because this edge so lives outside that. the data we center. We kind of started here and we are going in this direction. Exactly. Things like 110 volt power supplies, mm -hmm. because it has to live in probably a closet someplace. Mm -hmm. And the fact that, can I get a 6U box that has everything, compute, network storage, so I don't have to go out. And most importantly, it's all about simplicity. These guys over here in the edge don't have highly skilled technical staff. Yeah. So they want to basically do something very simple that's ready to deploy applications. Mm -hmm. So the way we designed this platform, keeping the core tenants of UCS together, mm -hmm. it's all managed from the core. Mm -hmm. So the core ends up managing UCS Mini. Mm -hmm. Now got a customer, 400 locations, deploys 400 boxes, but he doesn't have to have ID skill staff here. Okay. So the guy sitting here, basically designs what the service profile for the UCS Mini is going to be, deploys it, centrally manages, does all the analytics, and so does all the troubleshooting. So it's UCS manager, which is a key part of our uh, exactly. differentiation, yep. is still connecting to this. Precisely. Right? Great. And one other thing that we did, which was very, very crucial compared to what you see the competition doing is designing custom stuff for remote, mm -hmm. office branch office, which means there's a new training curve, there's new learning curve, et cetera. What we did was we took the core, the same blades that we ship here, mm -hmm. and we said same blades are going to be supported here. Backward compatible, so a customer who chooses to then go deploy this here mm -hmm. can have exact same model that they deploy in the core with this chassis. Okay. So lots of backward compatibility, uh, same exact model of management, all of that. All right, now what about cloud scale? So cloud scale is another area. So we see a lot of interest with our customers in the mobile gaming, for example, right? Online applications. And in fact, if you look at any large enterprise customer who's got an online content site, there's tons of you know users coming to that site millions at times, right? Nordstrom running a promotion, for example. Mm -hmm. Certainly lots of users are gonna come. So that environment needs a scalability that's very different from what your traditional enterprise applications are. Mm -hmm. You take a look at an enterprise application, it requires high availability from the infrastructure, it requires resiliency, and it's very predictable in terms of how it's gonna scale. Mm -hmm. You go to cloud scale applications, a customer rolls out an application out there, suddenly millions of users start to join, he's gotta figure out how I'm gonna scale. Mm -hmm. So we started to look at the problem that it's a different problem, so it has to be addressed differently. So what we have done here in the cloud scale world is, taken the same book, uh, same page from our old book in 2009, yeah. when we reinvented the whole server architecture yeah. with UCS, we said a lot of the overhead in a server today is all of these peripherals yeah. that go along with the compute and memory complex. If you look at the cloud scale applications, they typically scale across the vector of compute, not as much on the IO, not as much on the storage. So we took all of those peripherals out. So right. if you think about a server, if this is a server, yeah. and it has CPU, and it has memory. Right. But then it has all of these other things, for example, disks, right. controllers, adapters, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So now, Purely from a space perspective, this is one third and this is two third. Mm -hmm. 
So every time I'm adding a server for cloud scale, You're I'm adding, adding this, this capability. Right. So we said, well, right. exactly. We said, if this is the root of the problem, why don't we separate that out? Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we did. Mm -hmm. We disaggregated the server, mm -hmm. and we did it with a pure Cisco innovation. In fact, it is another Cisco contribution to the computing industry okay. where we came up with our systems link technology. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. This technology now allows us to disaggregate an x86 ser server at a level that has never been done before. Okay. In the history of x86, something that was not done, Cisco did it. Okay, so let's call that modular, you said modular, uh, scale out, right? Exactly. And then consistency through system link still. Consi exactly, the disaggregation. So now what customers can do is, because it has been disaggregated, I got my CPU memory complex here, mm -hmm. and I got all of my peripherals here. Yep. Okay? Yep. So now I can, through construct of service profiles, which our customers are very familiar with and used to, compose a machine yep. to the requirements that they want, just right for the application by taking this and pieces of this. Great. So we bring tremendous amount of flexibility to the core server architecture in how you build these capabilities now for applications, right-sizing them. All right, got it. So this whole thing is UCS Grand Slam. This is UCS Grand Slam. Now, the, the most important part of all of this, you've got a customer who's got needs in the data center. Yeah. You've got a customer who's got needs on the edge. Mm -hmm. You've got the same customer who's got some workloads that require cloud scale. Well, we don't want them to be building silos. Right. All of this unified fabric yeah. And unified management. Management, I was going to yeah. say, management actually is common for us. Yes, all of that. So right. all of the operational efficiencies, the TCO benefits that we've been delivering to our customer for the last five years, why we've seen Cisco grow, UCS grow, all of them stay intact with this architecture. All right, that's easy. Well, and of course, the first three letters of unified make up my favorite part of the show. It's unicorn time. <laughs> <laughs> So this is magical. So let's see the kind of magical output our customers can see. Unicorn challenge time. Let's draw those <laughs> <All right>. unicorns. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, that's that's great. Yeah, 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 so yeah. 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 So yeah. Okay, this gonna unicorn looks like a dog. Foundation, the legs are going to be UCS. Awesome. <laughs> UCS this is the, Mini. This might be the fashion week. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What do you think? Does it look like a unicorn here? <laughs> that is awesome. That's it. <laughs> and here's the core. <laughs> the core. Awesome job, Padma. <laughs> My, My contribution. The blue horn. There's a moon. <laughs> nice. Collaboration at work. <laughs> <laughs> I think that unicorn is a grand slam. <laughs> okay, thank so, you. So, thank you, Padmashree. Thank you, Satinder. Thank you. And we'll see you next time on Engineers Unplugged. <laughs> awesome.